Welcome to the learning video of the Video Teach project, where you can learn how to arrange the light and the background of the location and how to set the camera properly for the place where you record the video. When arranging your shooting location, you have to ensure suitable light and a noise-free background. Why natural light is preferable? Lighting is a very important component of creating high-quality videos. And natural light is a preferable option because, at first, the sunlight is free and ready to use while lighting equipment can be expensive. And at the second, sunlight gives a soft and natural appearance of the scene. In order to use natural light you should place your shooting location near a window and avoid direct sunlight. If the sunlight is too harsh, you can use sheer curtains to diffuse it, or use a white sheet to scatter it, creating softer illumination. If the location of your video is not properly lit, you can use artificial light. It gives you control over your video lighting and allows you to record at any time of the day. The options you can choose from include Key light, which is a primary light source, to light your location. Fill light, which is a secondary light source, which should be placed opposite the key light in order to fill in the shadows created by the key light. Ring light, which is an optimal choice when shooting someone's face, providing balanced and soft light and background light which should be used when the background is too dark. The sources of background noise are found in our environment. These are electric appliances, electronic devices or power sources, ringing phones or doorbells, street noise, and so on. To reduce background noise you should choose a quiet place as your location. Avoid times of the day when interruptions are more frequent. Put your phone and other ringing devices on silent. Turn off electric appliances and switch off electronic devices as the camera's sensor may pick up signals from them, causing the so-called white noise. Before you start recording your video, you should also make sure that your camera has the right settings according to your creative vision and environmental conditions. The basic camera settings include Frame rate Resolution ISO Aperture Shutter speed White balance Focus, exposure, and landscape. What is a camera frame rate? Camera frame rate refers to the number of individual frames and images captured in one second by a camera. It is measured in frames per second FPS. A higher frame rate results in smoother motion in videos, and a lower frame rate creates a more artistic video. Most of the common cameras or phone cameras offer 24 frames per second, 30 frames per second, 60 frames per second, while some of the more sophisticated cameras may have also 120 frames per second and 240 frames per second. For more natural look on your teaching videos, choose 30 frames per second or 60 frames per second if your shooting location is well lit. Choose 120 frames per second if you are recording fast action science. Camera resolution refers to the amount of detail a camera can capture. It is measured in pixels, described by the width and height of an image in pixels. Higher resolutions produce more detailed videos. However, videos recorded in higher resolution take more storage space. The most common resolutions today include Full HD, 1920x1080, 4K, 3840x2160, and 8K, 7680x4320. Exposure is the total amount of light that reaches the camera sensor when recording a video. It is determined by three factors. ISO, aperture, and shutter speed. Balancing these three elements is very important for recording a well-lit and visually pleasant video when the picture is not too bright, overexposed, nor too dark, underexposed. And what exactly is an ISO? ISO is the sensitivity of a camera sensor to light. A higher ISO makes the sensor more sensitive, you can record in low light conditions, but it can result in more digital noise. Choosing the right ISO depends on the light of the location. If you are shooting outdoors on a sunny day, ISO of 100 to 200 might be enough. Shooting indoors with sufficient light would require ISO of around 800. However, shooting when there is not enough light you will need to go as high as 1600 ISO. 
Newer digital cameras can have very high ISO options, but for educational videos it is best to avoid going above 1600 ISO if possible. The aperture is the opening of the camera lens through which light passes to the camera sensor. It is measured in f-stops. A wider aperture, low f number, allows more light to reach the camera sensor, providing better quality recording in low light conditions. It may result in a shallower depth of the photo, blurring the background. A narrower aperture, higher f number, reduces the amount of light reaching the camera sensor, which is used when shooting in bright light conditions. A narrower aperture increases the depth of the photo meaning that more of the scene will be in focus. Most of the smartphone cameras have a fixed aperture, which cannot be adjusted. Shutter speed in video recording refers to the amount of time each frame is exposed to light. It is measured in seconds or fractions of a second. In video recording very often a standard shutter speed is used. The general guideline is to set the shutter speed to double the frame rate. In this way you can ensure a natural motion blur between frames, similar to what our eyes experience in reality. White balance means the adjustment of colors for accurate, natural-looking tones in video. When recording a video you can manually set the white balance depending on the light of your location. Video cameras often have preset white balance settings for common lighting conditions, such as daylight, shade, cloudy, and so on. Some video cameras also have the option for automatic white balance, self-adjusting to changing light conditions. When recording a video, the lens of the camera has to be properly focused to achieve the correct sharpness of the image within the frame. All modern cameras have built-in autofocus systems, which automatically detect and adjust the focus of their lenses. Manual focus means that you can adjust the focus by yourself. Ensuring proper focus is crucial for the quality of your video. What is a landscape mode? While recording a video with your mobile phone, if you hold the phone upright in portrait mode, you will have black lines on both sides of the video when playing it full screen. In order to avoid this problem, you should hold your phone horizontally in landscape mode, as in this photo. Thank you very much for watching this learning video. If you like it, you can continue following us on YouTube or our other channels, such as Facebook or the official website of the project VideoTeach at videoteach.eu. All the content of this project has been produced through the international collaboration of nine expert partners and is funded by the European Union.